You may notice more police activity than normal near Byron as law enforcement agencies undergo search and rescue training. Project Lifesaver is partnering with the Olmstead County Sheriff's Department and Rochester officers to run through how to best respond to reports of missing hikers, vulnerable children or adults in danger. KIMG News 3's Evan Berg takes us to Oxbow Park. The Olmsted County Sheriff's Department is working with Project Lifesaver to hold a joint training for local law enforcement here in Oxbow Park so that local law enforcement can track down vulnerable kids and adults who get lost in the wilderness. This week's training is a joint effort between the county, the Rochester Police Department, and the Wabasha County Sheriff's Office. It allows us, it's like a football team, you gel when you know each other. And so when we train like this, we get to know each other better and we gel better so when we're on an actual call, there's not confusion. Training is even more challenging this week due to the absence of another frequent collaborator, the Minnesota State Patrol's rescue helicopter, which was called away for an emergency job in the Boundary Waters. So now we have the same scenarios set in place that we were going to be utilizing the, uh, utilizing the helicopter, to which now we're going to be on foot and uh, in vehicles, which will make it much more difficult, but that's the reality. The exercise uses the real tracking bracelets that the counties use to keep track of cognitively impaired children and adults. In a simulated emergency scenario, law enforcement send out an actor with the transmitter to hide so they can simulate a search and rescue response. The big thing here, the benefit to this, is that we get together, we learn, we train, we hone our skills, and we get a chance to operate in a very difficult environment and uh, learn to cope with that so that we're more efficient and better at our job. The Rochester Police Department says each scenario can take more than 45 minutes to complete, so it's likely both departments are going to be out here for most of the afternoon. In Byron, Evan Berg, KIMT News 3. In Olmstead and Wabasha counties, there are around 77 individuals who have signed up a vulnerable relative for services. In the event of an actual emergency, the Sheriff's Office says if you find an individual with a wrist or ankle monitor wandering around, you should contact law enforcement immediately.